hi there welcome to my channel and this is the bonus video wow so every now and again you will get a bonus video from every you know video that i get to post either for the week or the day and the bonus video is one that is more personal than other videos so the other videos will be obviously sharing inspiration or any type of content that I'll be sharing. But the bonus one, it's more personal. It's more about me. So <laughs> I'm sure you noticed that I'll be, I've been like looking at this blue notes book of mine that I've had for so long. Look at it. It's almost even. Yeah. Anyway, so... um. What's amazing about this book is what it has done in my life. Not book, by, but diary. And this diary, it was from Fair Lady. So the Fair Lady is a magazine that I once bought at, I think, one store. And it had, you know, the magazine had this inside. And this became my inspirational diary. So what would happen is that every time when I get to experience a challenge in my life, I would take this book, write down the challenge and write down the solution to the problem. I mean, I think that's why today I'm able to be an inspiration to others, to motivate, you know, um, to, to, to be a good keynote speaker, to also be an influencer to a lot of people. I think it's because of how, you know, it all began. Because instead of me taking the problem, keeping it to myself and worrying so much about what's happening or what the problem is, I would write it down. And, you know, writing it down was, was also easier because, you know, when you keep things bottled up, it becomes a really a problem. So at least if you write it down or tell it to someone, it can actually you know get better so it was yeah those were the days and this was like when i was still in high school so you can imagine how you know long that was remember that i i did my matric in 2005 i finished my matric in 2005 so you can imagine my high school was from 2005 4 3 2002 because that's when I, I I was in high school because in 2003 I failed my grade 10 and it wasn't really a pleasant time for me but we're not going to talk about failure today or how I failed so I just want to take this notebook and just try to find you know something that I've written you know back in those years that I think it still resonate with me or it still you know s speaks the same to me and my life so all right i just came across something that i wrote and it says you deserve all the best things life has to offer we live in a beautiful world surrounded by mountains trees birds ocean seas and more one may call it the beauty of nature god has blessed us with all these wonderful things that he believes and knows we, we deserve yet at times we choose the worst things in life that has never that was never set for us the worst thing that the worst things are those doubts you always have that fear of the unknown the lack of confidence in yourself right the lack of confidence in yourself the negative thoughts that you always have the ignorance you have towards uh, towards and okay towards and real facts of life if you don't go out there and claim all your blessings then they will remain where they are. The weakness that you have of not knowing 
when to say no or when to say yes wow okay um all right i think i'll stop there all right that's where the sentence actually ends all right let me just do your last paragraph it said that all all things come to those who wait question is how do you wait the myth of saying all that comes to you um oh it's a myth it's a myth that uh, okay 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 pardon me there i mean i've written this a long time ago so i'm trying to get to the context right and exactly why what i said so it says it said that all things come to those who wait question is how do you wait the myth of saying all all shall come to you hey snap out of it get out of there and smell the dreams success and the achievement and more god has all your blessings set for you yet you have to play your part in making it happen wow yes that was me writing all of that and i am still inspired by this and this is something that i can still say tomorrow today and you know whenever um i think something powerful about this is is saying to me that i deserve better and i do deserve better i've been through life challenges and i've experienced things that i feel like you know they were not great or they were not worth it and everything but i snapped out of it and smelt the coffee and smelt the success and started loving myself more and knowing my worth and i think it's important that everyone should start knowing their worth and understanding their value um you know often enough if you don't know your worth things will come your way you know um you will just go with any flow in life and then things won't go right and at some point i think i got to to a, a point where i took the wrong turn in my life where i did not you know um do things the right way possible but i will not be hard on myself because as you grow you learn and then when you when you when you when you are young there's so much uh so much that happens around you and sometimes it gets so overwhelming you get to do things that you never thought you would do and you get to do things and be excited about life and only to find that what you're doing or what you're getting yourself into is wrong so my message is do not be hard on yourself as a person because there will be times in life where you you go through challenges you go you you make mistakes in life it's okay as long as you take those mistakes and then you know uh, let it be a lesson in your life because you know uh, uh, something powerful remember this is like a bonus video that I'm, i'm i'm sharing which is more personal than anything um you know something powerful is that when you are young don't think that what you what you did then will not reflect to you today um i am 32 today but the life that you know i experience or the ex- challenges that or any experience that i've had from when i was growing up as a teenager especially because when you are a teenager that that's when you start realizing things and then opening your eyes doing things you know and yeah I got to realize that that is something that I carried with me throughout my life and I got to to be an inspiration to my siblings to my sister especially and looking at her and comparing myself when I was her age I was not making decisions for her but I was there as a sister as a guide from where she is and you know to where she can get to so my message is you know you will take you know wrong turns in your life but don't be hard on yourself you grow and then you outgrow certain things and then you learn from your mistakes that's how you actually have to live your life learn from your mistakes and don't be apolo- apologetic about you know you trying to be you if there are things that you need to stop doing people that you need to cut out of your out of your life do that don't feel sorry just do do you and and do what is best for you and do not be hard on yourself if you have done things that are wrong no one is perfect in this world and no one 
will ever be perfect. People that claims to be perfect in your eyes, trust me, they also have their, you know, uh, uh, side of things that they've done that they are not even happy to share or they are they are even ashamed to sh to share them so don't 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 be 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 scared or or feel intimidated by people that will try to bring you down because you have experienced certain things in life or you've have done something that was wrong or or something like that you know no one is perfect and you will still grow i'm 32 today i still have my own mistakes you know i'm still not a perfect person but now i'm old enough to make the right decisions i'm old enough to to you know um to take any of my experiences and apply them in my life and i'm old enough to know what is right what is wrong yes i'm i can make mistakes but the fact that i i would know you know when I take a decision, know exactly why I'm taking that decision is because I have that experience. So that's how it is in life. So I wanted to share that. That is, I mean, this is the bonus video that, you know, I want to share. But, you know, it all comes from this book that I've had for so long. From high school, I've had this book and I still have it. And I, it's not going anywhere. It's my treasure and it's something that is very personal very uh, uh, uh sacred very special to me um because it's it, it it says a lot about what i've experienced it says a lot about um how i grew up how i you know tackled life from then and sometimes you need that reminder of how you got to be where you are you didn't just get here your life had something to do with it. Your experiences had something to do with it. So thank you so much for joining. And please don't forget to subscribe and wait for the next video and the bonus video that is more personal. Looking forward to having you next time. Thank you so much. Please share. Please invite others to watch this video. I really, really appreciate it. It is Lebukhang Tabi Mokhosi, your beautiful black queen, signing out. Cheers.